This is Mike from SparkFun Engineering, and I'm here to show you our new PC Duino. We're all very excited about it. I'll give you a quick tour of the hardware. This end, we've got a USB OTG port, two regular USB ports. We've got a debugging serial port header, some general purpose I.O., a couple of SPI ports, and these pins, which are all actually pinned out exactly like an Arduino is. So you can connect this up to any Arduino shield product. Uh, we're actually working on an adapter to convert this over to the standard Arduino pinout. At the other end we've got HDMI, Ethernet. On the back we have a micro SD slot and a power input jack which uses a micro USB connector so that you can power this thing either from a USB port on another computer or from any standard cell phone charger. In order to get this to work all you need to plug in is a mouse a keyboard. The keyboard is very important. If you don't plug the keyboard in, you won't get anything through the HDMI port, although you will still get a boot and you can still interface through the serial port debugging interface. We'll give it Ethernet. Of course, Wi-Fi is, is an option um, if you have a, a USB Wi-Fi dongle. HDMI, and I've got the other end of this micro USB cable plugged into a computer just off screen. Plug that in and the boot process begins. So when you first get booted up, you'll see this screen. There's nothing comes up before the desktop. And on the screen, you'll see a number of programs. There's the terminal program, Chromium, which is the open source project that Chrome is based on, and a few other uh, basic programs to get started with. We'll just quickly open up Chromium, go to the SparkFun web page. So you'll see we've got a pretty regular web browser interface. One other thing that's really exciting about this, the LX terminal, if you go in here, open up your terminal program, type ls, you'll note that there is an Arduino directory. In the Arduino directory, there are some example programs that have been written. You can actually write code directly on this board as though it were an Arduino and compile it. We don't have a GUI available for it yet, but that will probably come in time. But right now you can write code Arduino compatible and run it native on the PC Duino software. That's all there is to it. Plug in the cables and enjoy your new PC Duino.